Hey Julia, my name is Alex Stemley. I'm the President and CEO of Stemley Consulting Group. And in this video, I'm going to show you three things that you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business. Now, most likely you're sitting there asking yourself, why would I be doing this and what's in it for me? Well, you're lucky because I read minds. And the answer is, oftentimes in the world of the internet, most local business owners are too busy running their business to learn how the inter internet can benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation they have to hiring someone is, they don't know who the expert is and who isn't. I have found by giving people a free, easy attack plan of actual things that they can do to impact their business for free, it's actually resulted in some of those local business owners still raising their hands and saying, I like you, Alex, please do this for me. So if by the end of this video, you've liked what you've heard, and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that can help your business with gaining more clientele and more revenue, please shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or, if at the end of this video you simply want to take this free attack plan that I gave you to do yourself, that works for me too. So now let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your time or mine. The first thing I want to go over is something called content. Now as you can see I do have your website pulled up here, uh, very professional looking, very nice, uh, very good website. The first thing we look for on a website is going to be something called content. Now, content can be anything from uh, words, as most people know it. It can be words. It can be pictures. It can be videos. It can be all of the above is considered content. Now, Google, to optimize you properly, likes to see at least, in normal circumstances, about 1,500 words, 1,000 to 1,500 words to really optimize you the strongest way that they possibly can. Now, your website is a little bit different in the way that it looks, being that uh, when I did an actual word count for the content, it shows that there's only 319 words on the page. Now, when I actually pull down on your website, obviously you have all of these client reviews, uh, which is tons and tons and tons of content. The problem is because it looks like it's coming in from another source or that it was copied and you know uh, kind of pasted the pictures on there it's not considering that word content which is what we're looking for. So one trick to that is uh, one you, you know you can find a way where people go ahead and just put it on uh, put their, their reviews on there kind of like a, a blog if you will where it just keeps adding content uh, that that's one big way to kind of get around that because yeah you're not getting credit for all the content that is on there unfortunately okay now like I said it says right now that you have uh, 319 words on there uh, again we want to be between a thousand and fifteen hundred minimum uh, we really so th there's ways to go about that to really boost that up for you and that that by itself is just a it's a big help okay uh, now I also pulled up a couple of the competition uh, that we talked about on the phone number one Lexington Law uh, of course everybody knows them uh, pull down here again pretty basic website professional uh, the big difference that I did find with theirs is when you go to select a state here they do have all the states that they're working with on their website so that in turn is giving them a lot of power and to get found in all these other states because they're what you call keywords now we don't want, just want you know just wording on there just pictures we want something called keyword rich content what a keyword is is Anytime you go into Google or any search engine and you, the, whatever you type into that search bar is considered keywords. So we want to fill your content with as many keywords as we possibly can. Now, that's kind of a double-edged sword. So I say we want to put as many as we can in there. The issue with that is you have to know the right places and the right times to do it. You can't just throw tons and tons and tons of keywords in in a paragraph and have that work for you. Google's very picky about it. They make sure that it's done correctly and it's not overused. If it is just thrown in there a bunch of times, it's considered keyword stuffing and Google actually dings you for that and takes you down. Uh, so it actually hurts you. So luckily here at Stemley Consulting Group, we do have an algorithm in place where we know exactly where to put keywords, uh, when to put them, and to, to really optimize you at the best level to get those clients to be able to find you. Okay. So again, with, with Lexington Law over here, you kind of see where they're at. Big thing, like I said, with them is that you are able to look at all the different states that they're in with the states. It's actually that, that creates uh, keywords for them in those states as well. And we'll kind of get into a little bit more of that here shortly. 
the next company I pulled up, oh, before I do that, let's look at their word content. So their word content, they're at 848 words. So they're still not even really at the, the threshold where they need to be. So they're kind of missing out a little bit there. Uh, of course, they're getting tons and tons and tons of clients anyway. So uh, again, that's just one little piece. Next, I looked up a company called Sky Blue, uh, another credit repair, finance repair uh, company. And as you can see, you know, a lot of the same colors that uh, Lexington Law had, uh, a lot of the same stuff, just very simple, very, you know, professional. And let's look at their word content. So they're slacking even more. They're at 527 words. Okay. So again, they're, they're, they're kind of missing the boat there. But the big thing when it comes to that, let's check to see how many keywords you're getting found for because that, that's everything when it comes down to it. Let's look at yours first. Keywords you're getting found for, you're getting found for 540 keywords. Not bad, not bad. I uh, definitely want that to go up. So that's bringing in about 137 people to your website a month. Again, if we're working in 49 states other than Georgia, we definitely want to boost that significantly, okay? And we'll go into more ways of how to do that. Lexington Law, let's look at theirs. And they are getting found uh, for 83.7 thousand keywords, which is bringing them about 242,000 people to their website a month. Uh, so they're getting found for keywords in all the states. Uh, lots and lots of keywords that we can really go into later, but you can definitely see what that is uh, doing for them here. And now let's look at uh, the sky blue again and let's look at theirs. So they're getting found for just under 2,000 keywords, bringing them about a little over 3,000 people to their website a month. So you can see keywords can, can do you absolute wonders, okay? Uh, the right content with the right keywords and it just does magic for you, okay? Uh, the next thing that I really want to talk about, and you pretty much have it completely covered already, uh, is something called Google My Business or GMB, or some people just call it the Map Pack. Okay, uh, what I'm talking about there is, you know, anytime you type in in the search repair so I, or search bar, I put credit repair here, and of course three companies come up, and then they're on a map. Uh, pretty easy. Okay, so how do you get on there? Well, it looks like you've kind of done all the work already which is fantastic so you have your GMB done uh, you have hundred and fifty six Google reviews that is phenomenal the more reviews you can get the better you have lots of pictures now with the pictures one thing I do want to say uh, you want to make sure that when you're saving a picture in there that is saved under a keyword something that somebody's going to be typing in uh, and again we can have a list of all those keywords we can find what people are what are people are searching for so that, that's one thing behind all the pictures you want to put keywords uh, you definitely uh, have the address which is fantastic um, only thing I'm not seeing here uh, is that Google really likes is a description they like that to be around 500 words that description and that needs to have keywords in it as well do that and of course you know you're gonna boost up I know you're already uh, quite high in the Louisville area uh, for you know repair uh, finance repair so that's good uh, now we just need to get you boosted up in all the other areas other states other towns counties things of that nature and there's ways to go about doing that but you've done a very good job with with your GMB so far so that that's really good I don't have to really harp on that too much now the last thing that I really want to talk about probably the most important when it comes into uh, you know getting traffic to your website and people seeing you recognizing you making you you know a household name is the part that a lot of people don't see it's, it's the back-end stuff so it's considered back-end SEO which includes uh, things called citations and backlinks I'll talk about citations first what a citation is is any kind of directory that you're on uh, when I say directory Google so GMB Google my business is a directory uh, home advisor is a directory uh, Yelp yellow pages you know all of these things are directories there's thousands upon thousands of directories out there we want to get you on as many as we absolutely possibly can uh, just starting out uh, you want you know to be on minimum between uh, 250 to 350 just to even start optimizing you uh, again we want to get quite a bit more than that just to, you know to boost you up with some, some of these other companies but yeah basically what they need to know just like your uh, your GMB is hours of operation exact location uh, pictures um, 
phone number, how to contact, all that good stuff in, in the description. Get that on as many different uh, citations or directories as you possibly can, and that's one big help. Now, to me, the biggest piece of this, though, is something called a backlink. Now, what a backlink is, is any website on the Internet, any kind of website whatsoever, that I can go on and I can find a link to your website. I can physically click on the link and it takes me directly to King Financial Repair. Okay, so that can be anywhere from blogs to uh, you know guest posts. To, uh, it can be uh, YouTube influencers talking about you. Anything that has to do with financial repair, we want to get you on all those sites. Now, I wouldn't want to get you on a you know a Pizza Hut website. Why? Because you're not slinging pizzas. It really wouldn't do anything for you. So when we look at backlinks, so right here it says you have a thousand backlinks. That's great. That's fantastic. Uh, now we need to add to that significantly, but a thousand is a great, great start. Okay. Uh, and when I say backlinks, not all backlinks are created equal either. And I'll kind of get into that as well. But let's look at Lexington Law and look at there. So as you can see, to move to get up with them, they have a hundred nineteen thousand backlinks. Now. Again, not all backlinks are created equal, and let me kind of show you how we judge how a backlink is working. So, I clicked here, it's going to give me every one of their backlinks that they have, every single one all throughout the U.S. There's 2,201 pages of backlinks, okay? So, what we do as a company, we go through and look at every backlink that someone has. If they're scoring very well, then that's something that we want to copy. We want to copy those. Not only do we copy them, but then we add to your profile to beat them. Our goal here at Scumley Consulting Group is not to uh, match our competition, but it's to smash our competition, okay? But how do we know what's good and what's not? Well, you see a DR right here. Uh, basically, the DR, it means domain rating. So how much power is that website giving to you? You know, it's, uh, we want as much power as we can. So a lot of the big websites that people constantly look at, those are going to have more power than anything else because it's getting your name out more. So you want to get the power from them as well. So it's out of a scale of 0 to 100. Okay, We want that number to be as close to 100 as absolutely possible. So when we go on and we, you know, we copy them, well, number one, we wouldn't need this one. This one is just fluff. It's doing nothing for them. CreditRepairAdvisory.com, uh, they're getting a 1 on there. That's terrible. We, so we'd skip that. 66 is okay. Then you see some 30s. Probably wouldn't even mess with the 30s. We want those numbers to be pretty high. So you have 79, 67. Those are okay. So basically what we do, we go through every single one of these and look. What is it? Why is it getting this? Uh, you know, is it something that uh, we have to pay to get a backlink on? Is it something uh, that's going to take some time to do? We go through and we check every single one of them to make sure we're doing the right thing. And then we reach out to the appropriate sources and get on the website as best we can. Okay. So as you said, you know, Lexington Law, uh, they, they just have tons and tons and tons of backlinks. As we said, you know, there's 119,000 of them. So it takes some time. But again, you can't put too many on in a month or you get dinged for it. You have to be very methodical about this. Google likes everything to be organic. Uh, you know, slow and steady wins the race, I guess, if you will. And then kind of going on here uh, and looking at Sky Blue, they have 3.42 thousand. Uh, backlinks again same thing we'd go through check everything see where it's at and that's how we determine what to do for you okay so I don't want to you know go too far into the weeds here you know uh, I'm happy to answer any kind of questions you have uh, about all of this just kind of in closing kind of what we went over again talked about content remember you need at least 1500 words of keyword rich content we talked about uh, GMB and you're doing great there we talked about citations and backlinks on the back end that's most important when it really comes down to the end so, with that being said, uh, you know, you can either go with this information I provided you today and do this on your own, and I'm totally cool with that. However, if you do want the most effective route and want to save yourself time, you can give us a call at 317-676-4405. And once again, my name is Alex Stemley. I'm the President and CEO of Stemley Consulting Group. And again, my number is 317-676-4405. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great one. Thank you so much.